Little indication that the government is actually softening its stance against pro-democracy protests. On Tuesday, it introduced a new law that would restrict demonstrations. Cal Perry has more. An announcement that on its face marked a historic moment, but perhaps too little too late for those protesting for continued reforms. The morning saw fresh protest, people seen running away from the Damascus University School of Medicine. They say they were protesting peacefully when pro-Assad supporters started beating them. Familiar sights and sounds for a country that has seen unprecedented protest in the past five weeks. Seen by the protesters as an empty promise of lifting emergency law, fueling continued protest across the country. Late in the afternoon on Tuesday, word spread. The cabinet had met and decided to officially lift the state of emergency. After 48 years, April 19th, now perhaps a historic day in Syria. But still the protests and clashes continue. The question on the streets, with the state of emergency law lifted, what laws will replace it? And will those laws have the same restrictions attached to them? Earlier in the day, the interior minister warned people not to take to the streets, saying that the government's security forces will not stand for further protests. But the demonstrations seem to carry on, a cycle that seems impossible to break. Despite the lifting of the emergency law, the question remains, what will it take for the streets of Syria to go silent once again? Cal Perry, Al Jazeera, Damascus. Well, Haytham Mana is a co-founder of the Arab Commission for Human Rights. He joins me live now from Paris. Thanks so much for being with us. What do you think? Will the lifting of emergency laws be enough to meet demands of the protesters? No, I don't think so. First of all, from a human rights defender's point of view, it must be completed immediately by an amnesty, by a general amnesty. It is very necessary to make it clear what about all victims of the state of emergency in 48 years. The actual end of state of emergency don't give us any significant uh, uh, answer about their situation their provision of uh, political and uh, civil rights, uh, about political detainees, about all of uh, exiled people uh, which are for political reasons under the state of emergency. For answer, a good answer to these questions, a general amnesty is very necessary now. And even As without uh, emergency state, laws, security forces seem to have a lot of powers, even under, I guess, if you could call them the regular laws, don't they? An, an example might be the arrest of uh, Mahmoud Isa, the opposition figure today. You know, Mahmoud Isa was arrested, first of all, in 1992. He's still in prison 10 years. And after he went to prison in 2006, and he's still in prison in the second time three years, 13 years from his life in prison, and now they arrest him again after the end of the state of emergency. It is incredible. It is inimaginable to speak about like this situation for uh, one of the figures of the democratic movement in Syria. We cannot say that uh, Mahmoud Isa is Salafit or some one which speak about violence. He is a pacifist and democrat and his place is not in prison, but in the actual movement with the people. Let's take a step back and, and look at what happened. We've seen other regimes crumble, but that doesn't seem to be happening, does it, in Syria right now, even though the protests seem to be going on. I think all the problem now is a problem of confidence. We need today to re-establish the relationship between people who govern and the street. For all people now with ask for freedom, they ask for institutional, a new institutional situation. That means free election. That means a new legislative council. We must finish with this old council 
presque nominated. It is not an elected uh, council, the popular, uh, the council of people. For that, people now ask for the next step. Next step must be the organization of a new free elections, and for that, we must finish with the actual assembly of people. All right, thanks so much uh, for your thoughts on that.